Hi, this is Keith Bryant from SMT Today. I'm here on the FCT stand with Brent, and he's going to tell us a little bit about this wonderful new nano slick coating. Right. So, Juan, thank you very much for the opportunity to talk a little bit about nano slick. Um, it's a developed. It's a polymer. Uh, it's both hydrophobic and oleophobic, and it's applied in a manner that allows the the uh, aperture walls to be coated, uh, which is unique to a lot of the other coatings that are on the market that are wipe-ons that do give you an advantage for underside cleaning. Uh, but what we're seeing is uh, pace release numbers that are increasing by as much as 25%. Uh, so your print quality is much better, the release quality is much better in your fine pitch parts, uh, and then you still have the advantage of the underside cleaning along with uh, bridging reduction and things like that. That's fine pitch release is always a struggle for Absol Oh, absolutely. Yeah, typically you see that in the uh, electroform stencils and yeah. things like so that. So I was going to say, are you seeing this on, is this mostly for laser cut or? Yeah, it is for laser cut. So <clears throat> what it, what happens is in a laser cut stencil, you still, the, the wall is somewhat, you know, as it's ruptured by the laser, you get that um, ununiformity in the, in the wall. It's as clean as it can be, but it's still laser cut. What this does is planarize the wall. Uh, it's basically Teflon coating the wall, but it planarizes it. So it makes it smooth, just like a plated, a plated stencil. Okay, so effectively you're getting as good or better performance than an electroform? Correct. With a nano slick With coating? With a nano slick coating. So obviously the, the cost difference is substantial. Okay. And how does it stand up to stencil cleaning? Uh, very well, actually. Uh, it's um, What we're seeing so far is um, the stencil uh, degrades to a point way before the, the coating wears out. So. Uh, 20 plus thousand prints and uh, cleaning cycles of 10 of 10 times. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, no, actually it's uh, it's coated uh, by us. So we cut the stencil and we coat the stencil. It's a it's a baked on product. So it's a proprietary process to uh, actually coat it and get it in the uh, walls without blockage, um, and then baked on and shipped okay. out. So so effectively, what you're doing is producing a stencil and then giving the customers a lot of extra benefits. Absolutely. Yeah. And Absolutely. Is, is it almost the case now where you have to look at the, the rules of making the stencil because you're getting such good paste release that you need to be almost making the apertures? That yeah, that's we actually have to do, so we have also something called root cause analysis um, that we offer to customers um, to go in and look at designs and if we are applying the coating, we do have to make some adjustments because otherwise they get too much paste. Yeah. Well, it all sounds like it's a really good system, Brett, and I'm sure uh, you're going to get a lot of take up because it's it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great product at a, a more realistic cost than electroforming, and probably you get them out quicker as well. Yes, absolutely, and it's getting great traction across the U.S. so far. Oh, well, that's good. Thanks for your time. Thank you.